Hey guys, welcome back to a new Kerbal Space Program video, and today's Kerbal Space Program video, let's see how close we can get to the sun. So basically, I'm going to try and touch the sun, because I'm bored and I don't have anything else to do. So, uh, yeah, if you guys think I can touch the sun, like and subscribe. I don't even know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you think I can touch the sun. If you don't think I can touch the sun too bad, just have to like and subscribe. Anyways... Uh, yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but, um, so right now I'm just building a little probe, which I forgot to put a decoupler on, so now it's connected to the thing. See, I forgot to put a decoupler there, so now it's just connected to the transfer stage. Because I'm bad at building things in Kerbal Space Program. So now I'm just seeing... Which engine is the best engine? And right now, I am building my booster to get to the sun. Because the sun is cool. So, um, yeah. And now I say I have no Delta V, so I decide to make some more side boosters to get more Delta V. And... Now I'm adding on separatrons and fuel lines so I can make a cross-feed system because if you make cross-feed systems that cross-feed into the central fuel tank, by the time your side boosters come off, your central fuel tank is going to have full fuel and that means it's going to be more efficient, I think, blah, 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 I don't know, I don't know much rocket science, but I think that's how it works. So, uh, yeah, don't quote me, but I think that's how it works. So, uh, at this point I'm pretty much done building my booster, it's just a simple booster and now i'm checking my st well i'm and now my staging's messed up so i decided to go back fix some staging issues and now my staging is good so we just lighted up the engines there and now we'll be heading off into space so this is a quite steep ascent. I don't know why I went with such a steep ascent profile, but um, I mean it worked. So uh, as you can see in the left, I'm doing a pretty bad preview of this, so I can't exactly see what it says. But the Mastodon engine's fuel tank fuel levels are going down much, much. The massive engine's fuel levels, the central block's fuel levels, sorry, are much higher than the side booster fuel levels. So we're at 25 kilometers. Separate those side boosters now. Now I see that central block is fully fueled. That's what the little crossfeed mechanism was for. So once our apoapsis hits about 100,000 meters, we'll stop. And... Now this footage is sped up seven and a half times by the way. At least the orbit at least the orbit insertion part. So um yeah. Now you can see it's getting into orbit. And uh if you think I'm cool, like and subscribe. I need subs I can get. Subs. Cause I need subs. Cause I'm cool, right guys? Am I cool? Yes or no? Put in the comments. Do you guys hear my laptop running in the background? Yeah, I need a better laptop. My laptop is terrible. So, um, yeah, now I just entered into orbit and we are going to go to the sun. So, right now I don't even know what I'm doing. Right now. Okay, well, now I'm making maneuver nodes and. Yeah, so if you guys don't know why I'm trying to go higher up is. Well, I'm going to tr well, my main objective here is to go higher up so I can then go down again. And the reason for that is the higher up you go, the slower you're moving. So the less you have to cancel out your horizontal velocity. Which is why it's, I think, better to go higher up and then go down. Because I think that's how the Parker Solar Probe did it. Was it like off Venus or something? 
I think it was a bunch of gravity assists off of Venus, but um, yeah, but that's what I was gonna do. If you guys don't know, the Parker Solar Probe was a little thing going to the sun, and I'm just showing you how much more expensive it is to just directly burn retrograde relative to the relative to the sun. So right now, at this point, I don't even know what I'm doing, and I'm just building random maneuver nodes at this point. So, uh, yeah, if you understood anything I just said, say it in the comments. Because you probably didn't. Because I'm a very bad explainer. And this is exactly why I don't have a degree in explaining. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm setting Duna as my target, but, um, uh, yeah, Duna's my target now, so, hopefully, we get Well, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing messing around with Duna. I'm not even at a good Duna transfer window. Transfer window is probably, like, another year and a half out. So, um, yeah, you see there, my thrust vectoring, my gimbling wasn't where I should, I really should have added RCS to this. I don't know why I never add RCS to my spacecraft. It's just inefficient, really. I should start adding RCS. So now that I just escaped Kerbin, I'm going up to about halfway between Jerez and Mars. Mars, do not. I'm not talking about the real world. We need to be talking about. Uh. Also, for some reason, I'm focused on Kerbin, even though I'm technically over there at my periapsis, and so it's becoming really confusing because I'm trying to set my focus back to the spacecraft, but it's um, it's not working. So. Uh, yeah, now you see I'm making a maneuver node to get as close to the sun as possible. And so I realize there's no decoupler there well after I'm um, into like, what, an hour? Because at this point it took me an hour to build the entire craft so, um, and get it into space. So, yeah. Now, uh, now basically I'm just trying to do something, and I'm looking at the last videos, everybody that I made. Like, if you haven't seen my last video, I'll put an info card up on the screen right now. So, um, yeah. Anyways, now that we have our uh, video, you see, I'm lowering my periapsis. Oh, we didn't even, I didn't even talk about the lowering periapsis. And we also separated that stage. So I just lowered my periapsis down, and I probably have, like, a lot more fuel, like, what, 1,600 meters per second in to V. Now we have a bunch of temperature gauges showing, showing up. And also, if you guys can't see, my solar panels are probably gone by now. So, um, yeah. Just, yeah, just, just look at this. Um, I have made it to the sun. I have nothing else to say. I don't know why. I lost our blader. And our radiators are working overtime right now to make sure that I don't die. So, uh, yeah. That's all I have to say. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, leave a sub. If you didn't dislike, that's good for me. Because I need the YouTube algorithm to select me. Anyways, um Yeah, if you wanna see my if you wanna see my most recent upload, that'll be in the left. And this is the right, it's gonna be what YouTube selects for you. See you guys later. Watch those. Good beat. Peace out. Bye.